now being uh, a member of the Information Society. That's a difficult question because I didn't know we were in the Information Society. The first thing you should know about bass fishing is that water temperature sometimes plays a part in whether you catch fish or not. Generally, bass do love warm water because they can they can maneuver faster. Um, colder water would basically slow their metabolism down and cold water is definitely very heavy, so they're not gonna be so quick to move. Now, what bass would generally do when water temperatures start to heat up is, yeah, they're gonna wanna move towards deeper water because that's where the temperature is much cooler. But it still does not mean that they're gonna stop eating. Don't get me wrong, I'm sure there are a lot of fishermen out there that fish on the bank. I've seen it myself. When it's, when it's in the middle of the day during the summer and it's like 90, 100 degrees, I've caught fish on the bank. Now, when it does get hot like that during the middle of the day, some bass will move to the shallows. Now, if there's a shaded area, like an overhanging tree or something, or even a tree that's falling in the water, you know, bass would definitely tuck up under that and just relax in the shallow, you know, two, three feet of water, because it, it's shaded there. And obviously, if it's shade, the temperature's gonna be lower in that area. So, you know, definitely, definitely keep that in mind. If you're gonna fish during the middle of the day, definitely cast in those shaded areas because there's probably a bass up under there somewhere. The number two thing you need to know is that bass eat in all weather conditions, whether it's summer, spring, fall, or winter. It doesn't matter. Bass are going to eat. You know, I've, I've heard people all the time say that, you know, they don't go fishing when it's cold, for one, because they can't take the cold, but for two, bass don't eat during the cold, and that is a lie. Bass eat. They still eat. Every animal has to eat unless you're a bear. Bass do not hibernate. To say that bass stop eating is, is a lie. They definitely eat. It's, it's much difficult to catch bass during the winter times. Um, it's, it's not impossible. They eat, and you just have to go out there and, and just battle it out. I've caught my personal best bass in the middle of January. That bass was seven pounds, three ounces. And I was using a chatterbait when I caught this bass. I was surprised. It was one of the warmer days out of January. You know, the water temperature still cold. I was out there in my sweater, like, and my pants, my boots. You know, I was, I had, had on my warm clothing, but I wanted to get out there and go fishing. And I went out there and I caught my personal best bass on the bank. It probably was the cold temperature of the water. That, that bass did not fight hard. If that bass would have fought hard, it probably would have been pulling drag and I might have lost him because I probably would have been unprepared for that fight just because I wasn't expecting it. Just know that it is not impossible to catch bass. I call my personal best bass in the winter. So can you. Now, I will say this. Bass fishing can become an expensive hobby. The, the expensive portion of it comes from buying the baits. Like if you don't know what you're doing with soft plastics, then you could potentially be wasting money buying new baits. When your old bait, you can kind of cut that in half depending on what type of bait it is. I personally like going to Bass Pro Shop. Bass Pro Shop is definitely an expensive way to go purchase some bait. I mean, Walmart has a, an amazing selection of baits. Now one brand I love using is Booyah Baits. There's, there's quality built in their product. They're, they also are inexpensive. At the end of the day, Booyah is my go-to base because I can save money and they definitely will last. If you're just getting into fishing or want to, definitely go to Walmart. They got a great selection of rods and they got a great selection of lures and baits, hooks, your lines that are definitely not expensive. So it doesn't matter how much you spend on your gear, it's how you use it. Scoundrel's jet ski need to go home. It's about to rain. I wish I had a jet ski. You know, bass fishing in itself is a peaceful hobby, it's a peaceful sport to get into. You know, you're, you're down by the water, definitely a great place to clear your mind of any type of stress that's going on in your life. With bass fishing, it is especially stressful and frustrating. I mean, it's frustrating because you may hook that, that big bass that will beat your, your personal best and it gets off. Now, some anglers like myself can sit back and laugh on moments like that, but that loss is gonna, is gonna stay in your head for who knows how long until you up catch another fish. Now, now any, any angler 
will tell you that losing a big bass is definitely frustrating because you don't know if that bass could have possibly been of your PB. And catching big fish gets you excited. But when you lose that fish, you will think about that fish for who knows how long until you catch a new fish that erases that bad memory of losing that potential big bass. It's, it's frustrating, especially when you know you're a good angler, you know you're doing everything right to catch a bass, and you don't catch anything that day. Definitely keep in mind that, you know, it is very, very rewarding when you catch a fish, but getting into bass fishing, you need to come to the table, come out on the water with the mindset that you're enjoying yourself, that you are having fun, and that at the end of the day, if you don't catch anything, you can always come out the next day and go fishing again. You're not always going to catch fish. You're going to lose fish and you don't need to let it discourage you when any of those factors come into play because you're going to experience those moments. But the moment you do catch a great fish, the moment you do catch your PB, that's what's going to keep getting you up in the morning or keep you out there wanting to just keep casting and keep cranking it out to find your next PB. So if you don't catch anything, if you lose a bass, don't get discouraged, just keep casting. Just keep casting. And last but not least, which is probably one of the most important things you will need to know about bass fishing, is that you got to be patient. You know, if you, if you don't have patience, then you need to find another hobby. These bass are not gonna bite when you want them to. I've had days where I didn't catch fish, you know, and I didn't have a hit. I may have even lost a fish. I've had days where I didn't reel anything. I didn't catch nothing, but I didn't let it discourage me from not fishing again. I've been to spots for two, three days in a row and I haven't caught anything, but I know there's bass there. That just tells me I need to hone in on my own skills. But patience is definitely key into catching bass. And if you're gonna be a great bass fisherman, you definitely need that. So with that being said, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, like, share, comment. Let me know what you all think. Until then, I'm gonna watch the sunset because it is beautiful and peaceful. And it's another bonus to bass fishing and being out here on the water in the afternoon. So this is Adventure TV 919. I'm Don, peace.